Hey everyone, my name is Grace and I am super excited to be joining everyone in this virtual AMC conference. I'm actually really excited because I don't get to attend them very often, so this should be fun. Um, but before I get into my presentation, I thought that I would um, tell you all a bit about myself. Um, so I am 24 years old. I was born and raised in a little ski town called Fernie in British Columbia, Canada. Um, I am the president of two nonprofit societies. One is for adaptive skiing and the other is surrounding uh, inclusion of people with disabilities in society. Um, I do that as volunteers, so as my actual job, I am the manager of a hospice society, which is end-of-life care. Um, but that's not, my work isn't really what I want to talk to you about today. Um, what I really want to talk to you about is a lot of my adventures that I have been really privileged to be on. And uh, a lot of them stemmed from starting skiing when I was 14 years old. Um, sit skiing was something that I had heard about um, through the Paralympics. I was a reporter for the 2010 Vancouver Paralympics and I got to see a lot of um, independent sit skiers and they are absolutely amazing. But I kind of thought that because my range of motion is not great and I can't really do much on my own without support, that um, skiing was kind of out of the question. Um, but when I was 14, someone suggested that I try out an adaptive skiing program in Kimberley, which is an hour and a half away. Um, so I thought, you know, why not? Let's let's give it a try. Um, my skiing town is, well, it's based on skiing, so it's hard to live here if you don't ski. Um, so I made the, the trip out to Kimberly uh, to give it a shot, and the, the first time they pulled out this sit ski and I, I got to actually look at it, um, I was absolutely terrified. It did not look like something I wanted to get into at all, let alone be pushed down a mountain, but um, I don't know, something inside me just told me that I needed to step outside my comfort zone and see if this is something that I could potentially enjoy or even love. So I put myself into the hands of these two strangers that I had only met that day who were um, adaptive instructors and they got me all strapped into this sit ski and uh, took me up the chairlift which was absolutely horrifying um, and they pushed me out onto the top of this mountain and honestly I had never seen um, our valley from the top of a mountain before. It was one of the most incredible experiences I will have ever had. And um, that was kind of short-lived though because I had to actually ski down the mountain <laughs> and I was thoroughly terrified. Um, but through skiing, I discovered something that I haven't really been able to feel and that would be freedom. Um, it's really hard to feel free when you've got a 500 pound wheelchair strapped to your butt <laughs> and it's constantly restricting you from going the places that you want to go because you can't get into those places. So being in this sit ski, I mean, yeah, I still had something strapped to my butt, but I could go these places that everybody else could go and I could experience something that everybody else could experience and it was just one of the most touching experiences that I've ever had. So I got down from skiing that day and I was just totally, totally charged and floored with it. It was, it was absolutely amazing. 
and I remember um, sitting at my kitchen table just kind of thinking about the day and all of a sudden this idea popped into my head and uh, it said well why don't you start an adaptive skiing program in Fernie because at the time there was there wasn't one so I mean I'm 14 years old and I have absolutely no clue how to do anything like that so my first uh, counter thought was well heck no I can't do that I, I have no clue what to do I wouldn't know where to start but again something inside me said well maybe you just need to, to take that step maybe you need to just completely go outside your comfort zone and something amazing might happen um, so I kinda went on this journey for two years of trying to set up this adaptive skiing program and it was hard it was really hard and the first time that I tried it in the first year it didn't actually happen it failed um, and I mean when you're 14 or 15 years old that kind of hits you hard um, but perseverance is really important to um, I don't know to combat whatever whatever challenges come up in in achieving something that you want to do um, and I really wanted to share adaptive skiing with um, the people in Fernie so I kind of you know stuck it out and um, in year two when I was 16 um, my adaptive skiing program which is called FIRE was born and I became the president of a nonprofit society when I was 16. Uh, again, I had absolutely no clue what I was doing and I feel like I just kind of threw myself in the deep end. Um, but my focus was on something that I wanted to do and something that I wanted others to experience. And so my age and my disability and my inexperience were kind of, I didn't consider them in, uh, to be a big deal, I just kind of pushed through. Um, so I started this adaptive skiing program and it was really amazing because all of these people in, in, our, in our valley area who had never been able to experience um, snow sports to any degree were now able to go up to the ski hill and, uh, and have this really fun uh, experience on snow and I was also able to experience that right along with them and experience um, pieces of Fernie that I had never been able to uh, to do before um, so it was really really special and through all that through skiing and through starting the adaptive program I met my um, I like to call her my alter ego because she's a much more outgoing personality um, than I am but I met um, Gracie Lou what won't she do who is kind of my my persona if you want to call her but she's basically that that voice within me that tells me that no matter what the challenge is that I can overcome it if I really want to achieve something and um, and a lot of that comes down to to confidence I know that having confidence is really difficult um, just you know with having an, a weird body shape and having people constantly ask what's wrong with you it can be really hard to feel confident and to to feel like you're enough um, but without that confidence, I at least would not have been able to do half the things that I did. It was all about just being comfortable in my own skin. And um, that's really where Gracie Lou, What Won't She Do, came in. She's uh, adventurous and tenacious and far more outgoing than I am. But I can channel her whenever I need to do something that I feel like I don't have enough courage to do myself and suddenly I'm on an adventure that is absolutely life-changing. Um, so with Gracie Lou, 
I ended up starting to really get into skiing. Um, a friend of mine um, named Scott became one of my instructors and we kind of took the ski hill by storm and we did a lot of things that people would think was not possible. We were skiing, you know, double black runs. We went to the very top of the mountain where no sit skier had ever been before and we were just pushing the limits. And then um, one day in 2017, I saw a documentary um, called uh, The Edge of Impossible. And it was by uh, uh, about a quadriplegic named Tony, Tony Schmeezing, who became the first quadriplegic to heli ski. And I was looking at this video and I just kind of jokingly texted my, my friend Scott and I was like, hey, maybe we should do this. And I was totally kidding. I did not actually think that I could go heli skiing. But he texted back and he was like, well, sure, why not? <laughs> and um, I mean, why not? It's such a simple question, but it carries so much meaning. Um, when you think that there are barriers like disability or age or um, gender getting in your way of doing something, all you have to do is ask, well, why not? Why can't I? And amazing things can happen. So just kind of decided, well, sure, let's give heli skiing a try. What's the worst that could happen? So we went on this journey for about a year where we were trying to put together heli skiing. Um, and it required a lot of uh, physical training to be able to go out and actually ski for a full day because that's what heli skiing requires. Um, so it was a lot of physical training, a lot of mental training because I still didn't really think that I could do it. Like, of course, there was that little voice in Gracie Lou telling me that, yeah, I could probably do it, but then I got in the way being like, well, I don't think I can. Um, so there was a lot of mental training uh, a lot of, again, pushing the limits in skiing because we needed to know that we could handle that kind of terrain. And then, um, you know, just before the heli skiing day came up, uh, we ended up going cat skiing with the uh, original first heli skier uh, in America, Tony Schmeezing. Um, and I really recommend watching his documentary, if you can, The Edge of Impossible, because it's amazing. But he ended up coming up to Canada, and we went cat skiing together, which, uh, again, was really pushing the limits of what people think uh, people with disabilities can do. I mean, cat skiing is kind of an elite, um, you know, able-bodied person thing. And suddenly these two really severely disabled people are going up and cat skiing. So it was, uh, it was pretty groundbreaking. And then just after that, I uh, went heli skiing on April 3rd, 2017. And I became the first female tandem sit skier in Canada to go heli skiing. So it was just a really special experience, one that I will never forget because it really just embodied that um, that spirit of Gracie Lou, what won't she do? Like, why, why can't you do something if you really want to go after something, then it doesn't matter who you are or what your ability level is. You can go for it and you can just do it. Um... So the, the documentary that I am about to share with you is on my heli skiing experience and I really hope that everybody enjoys this because it was just one of the most incredible days. And um, But I mean really the message around it is that um, nothing is impossible, the, world, the word itself says I'm possible. And that's what our documentary is called. So um, while you're watching the documentary, I just want everybody to remember that, I mean, it doesn't have to be heli skiing. It doesn't have to be that grand. But 
you can do whatever you want to do as long as you put your mind to it. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this video and um, that you enjoy I'm Possible. And if you want to follow Gracie Lou on Instagram and uh, Facebook, then my handle is Gracie Lou. What won't she do? And I hope you guys enjoy.